Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, also known as AC inhibitors, are a medication class used to treat and manage hypertension and protect the kidneys. They are used to treat many cardiovascular conditions like high blood pressure, heart failure, and diabetes related chronic kidney disease. Talking about the mechanism of action of AC inhibitors, they are competitive inhibitors of angiotensin converting enzyme and prevent the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 acts as a potent vasoconstrictor. So when it is inhibited, can reduce blood pressure by dilating vessels and decreasing aldosterone secretion. There are 10 different AC inhibitor drugs approved by FDA. Most common one include, captopril, fosinopril, enalapril, lisinopril and ramipril. Most common side effects of AC inhibitors include dry cough, dizziness, hypotension, and hyperkalemia. Now let's talk about structure activity relationship of AC inhibitors. ACE inhibitors are most commonly administered as oral agents, but intravenous forms are available. All AC inhibitors have four distinct binding sites for its target. Number one is an ionic site, followed by hydrogen bond forming group and hydrophobic moiety. It also contains sulfhydryl, dicarboxylic, and phosphonate group, which interact with zinc atom into an effective binding interaction. Captopril is a prototype drug of AC inhibitor drug class. Captopril contains sulfhydryl group, which contribute to rash and loss of taste with use of captopril. It is rapidly inactivated by forming a disulfide bridge, so captopril have shorter half-life. Second is enalapril. It is a phenethyl-containing ACE inhibitor drug. This phenethyl group is highly lipophilic, so enalapril has increased receptor binding capacity and activity. Enalapril has long half-life, so it is given once daily. Finally, Fosinopril is a phosphorus-containing ACE inhibitor drug. It binds with zinc atom through phosphonate group. Fosinopril is a prodrug, which is converted into active form fosinoprolate. It is less active than other dicarboxylate-containing AC inhibitor drugs, like enalapril and lisinopril. In the end, let's talk about some counseling point for AC inhibitor drugs. Avoid AC inhibitor with lithium, because it contribute to lithium toxicity. AC inhibitors are less effective in African American patients, and food decrease their absorption. So these drugs should be taken on an empty stomach. Lastly, AC inhibitors may contribute to angioedema and hyperkalemia, when used in combination with specific drugs respectively. So. That's all about the medicinal chemistry of AC inhibitor drugs. For more such videos, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can get these notes in MetaHelp app, which is available on Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Happy learning!